Three of the most beautiful words in the English language are ice cream brownies. And that's what we're making today. We're making Guinness spiked ice cream and Guinness brownies. Homemade ice cream is one of those things that tastes so good, but a lot of people are nervous to make it. It kind of seems complicated, it's difficult to put together. It's really not. Just a few quick and easy steps and you can make ice cream that literally blows your mind. And brownies, obviously everybody loves brownies. The difference today is that we're gonna spike both of these with Guinness Extra Stout. They taste delicious. It's great on its own, obviously, just to drink. But what we're gonna do is cook it down, turn it into almost a syrup that we're gonna use in both elements of this dessert. So first up, ice cream. Ice cream means to chill overnight. So we wanna get prepared in advance. So we can put that in the fridge and we're good to go for the next day. So first step, we're gonna combine some whipping cream, some milk and sugar, and heat that over medium low. We're not looking to boil it or even really simmer it, just that the sugar can dissolve into the milk mixture. At the same time, because we love multitasking, grab a second saucepan. In that, we're gonna go in with the Guinness Extra Stout, just one bottle, and cook that down. It's gonna take about 20 minutes, really low and slow, not heavy, not bring into a boil or anything like that, and cook that down until it's thick and glorious. Okay, next step. Milk's all ready to go. I'll heat it through. Sugar's worked its way in. I've got six egg yolks in here. This is the scary part. This is the part that people get freaked out about, but you don't need to. Essentially, we need to add this hot mixture to these eggs, and we don't want scrambled eggs. All you need to do is go really, really slow in a slow and very steady stream to bring the eggs up to temper, just a drop or two at a time. Once you've got about a cup of milk mixture worked into these eggs, go in with the rest of it. This is gonna go back in the saucepan, go back on the stove, and we're gonna cook that down for about five minutes or until it coats the back of a wooden spoon. Okay, so our custard mixture is all cooked down, ready to go. The Guinness is all cooked down and ready to go. The last thing we're gonna do is take some vanilla extract. That's gonna go in here, just a little bit, about a teaspoon. It's gonna be super delicious. And then go in with the syrupy Guinness extra stout goodness right into the custard mixture. Once you've got this all mixed together, that's gonna go in the fridge basically overnight. I mean, at least four hours, maybe six hours, but overnight is best. Next day, wake up, make your ice cream, you'll be good to go. So once this is good to go, like I said, put that in the fridge overnight. Next day, you're gonna wake up and it's ice cream time. Everybody's ice cream maker is different. The manufacturer's instructions are gonna be different. So just follow those accordingly and you'll be good to go. Bang that in there. It's probably gonna go in the freezer afterwards for about four hours just to firm up and become glorious. And then you've got ice cream. Okay, so ice cream is all sorted. That by itself is a great recipe. You should make that. But if you combine that with brownies, you get this cold and hot combination of awesomeness. Brownies, you've probably made 15,000 times in your life. Honestly, they're not a hard thing to make. The difference is mixing it up so it tastes special, unique, and delicious for your family and friends. So today, we're gonna spike it with Guinness syrup. It is so good. Like I said, we put it in the ice cream and it's great there and you can use it in a million different ways. So we're gonna combo that into the brownies and ice cream mixture. So first up, let's get our chocolate and butter melted together. So we've got our stove preheated to 350 Fahrenheit. That's ready to go. And we've got a double boiler on the stove. In that, we're gonna combine our butter and our chocolate and let that all melt together until we move on to the next step. Okay, so our chocolate and butter are all melted. This smells incredible. I want to dip a spoon in this and eat all of it, but I am not going to. In this, we're gonna go in with this Guinness syrup that we made. Just go straight in with that. Super beautiful. Tastes great, smells great. Like I said, you can use this in a million different ways. We've got some granulated sugar that we're gonna add to the mix. And just keep whisking away. We've got some maple syrup that's going in here. Add a little Canadian goodness. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of vanilla extract. And then lastly, we're gonna go in with three eggs, some flour, and some salt. Okay, so like I said, oven is at 350 degrees. We are gonna go in to this prepared little baking sheet here with our brownie mixture. Once that's all good, level that off. That's gonna go in the oven for about half an hour, basically just until a toothpick comes out clean. So the ice cream's in the freezer doing its thing. Brownies are in the oven. Like I said, 30, 35 minutes. If a toothpick comes out clean, you're good to go. Perfect time to go grab a pint. All right, so these brownies are all good to go. They were in the oven for 35 minutes. A toothpick came out clean, so we're ready to eat them. I let them rest as well on the counter for about 15 minutes just until they're workable and not too hot. So I'm gonna cut these into nice little individual portions, top it with ice cream, and then we're off to the races. 
Okay friends, ice cream, sorted, brownies, sorted. This kitchen smells incredible. I can't wait to tuck in and have an extra little pint of this Guinness Extra Stout deliciousness. Guinness on Guinness on Guinness, that is just next level. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for hanging out here in this community. If you're not subscribed already, I would love you to be part of this community. And as always, if you want any of the exact measurements or ingredients, hit the link below to go to my website. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great day. We'll see you next time for more delicious minutes.